going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneLive.com, and this is the Samsung i8910 HD, formerly known as the Omnia HD. Check this one out back in February at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and just got a review unit in. No, it's not. Uh, it's not now available on the U.S. carrier in the North American market or anything. But uh, Samsung PR was kind enough to send us a loaner. This is the unlocked version. It has European uh, 3G banding on it, but otherwise. It's quad band GSM Edge, so you can use it in the U.S. on AT&T or T-Mobile. You just won't get 3G, uh, or you can use it on any other GSM carrier up in Canada or wherever else. Uh, but, but this phone, HD video capture and playback, uh, brilliant AM OLED display, at least it was when I checked out in Barcelona. Very curious, very excited to get this one out of the box and check it out, so let's get to it. All right, in the box, you get... Some CDs and manuals and stuff. And hey, wait a second. Hey, hey. What happened to my Omni HD? All right. So through the magic of you know video editing and crazy digital ways of changing time, well, really just video editing. I'm actually shooting this part of the video first using a regular camcorder. Uh, to give you the full unboxing experience, even though we just did the fake unboxing shot with the Omnia HD, the i8910. So actually, you can kind of compare notes, because both videos were shot uh, in 720p format, and both videos were imported and edited and exported using the exact same means, and they were shot in the same conditions, same lighting, same backdrop, etc. So you can judge for yourself the quality of... Uh, of the video. Bear in mind, you know, the video was compressed and then uploaded to YouTube and run through their servers, or uploaded and run through the various servers, YouTube, uh, blip for iTunes and etc. So, you know, it's not the full-on highest quality that uh, the i8910 can do, or this camcorder can do for that matter. But, you know, you get a sense of uh, what you can shoot with uh, a camera phone versus a regular camcorder. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the unboxing. Thanks to Samsung for loaning us this. And also kudos to Samsung, um, saying nothing about their products, but kudos to them for getting a non-North American market phone out to North American media to check out and to show you all. Uh, LG, are you listening? You need to do this, because people, you know, just because they're not in the markets where a phone like this is yet for sale, they still want to know, because you can import these phones, or it's, it gives you kind of, it's a harbinger of technology that's going to come soon and trickle down. We hear uh, there are lots of rumors that Sprint, the new Instinct, will be called the Instinct HD, and we'll also do HD video playback and poss possibly HD video capture. So, you know, people want to see these emerging, these new technologies, even if they can't yet buy them or they have to go through an importer or something. And uh, Samsung has started to be good about getting us these phones to check out, even if it takes a few months after they hit the, the European and Asian markets. They are getting them out to the North American media, which is very cool. LG had a lot of requests from our readers and viewers that I've passed along for reviews of phones like the Arena or the new Crystal phone or, you know, some of the others. And uh, LG has, yeah, I know their P PR people are working on it, but corporate headquarters uh, has not yet released those phones to North American media. So, you know, we, we'd like for that to happen. Anyway, back to the thing at hand, the HD brilliance of the i8910 HD. In the box, you get the Samsung PC Studio software, you get some manuals and stuff, you get the phone, which we'll get to in a second. You get the charger, which uh, those of you not familiar with leaving the United States, this is um, a non-US charger. So if you're using this in the US, you have to either use a different adapter, different charger, or get yourself a little uh, adapter that'll snap onto these things, which are pretty cheap. They're like four or five bucks in a store, probably cheaper online. Uh, it's a micro USB based charger it looks like, which is very cool. You also get uh, your headset, Ecouture, which I just mangled, I'm sure. Uh, and it looks nice as an in-ear headset with an inline mic and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Very cool. You also get your micro USB to USB data cable. And you get a full video out cable, which is also three and a half millimeter and uh, it's um, what do you call it? RCA composite video with stereo audio. So this will not do HD. Um, for the HD, it's DLNA based. We'll get into all that in a second. 
Here you can see on the uh, box, it shows you all the different crazy features this thing can do. HSPA, not North American banded, I do not believe at this point, but uh, in Europe, you can do it. Uh, quad band GSM edge with GRP, GRPS, yay! <laughs> uh, 8 megapixel camera autofocus with a flash, HD video recording, DLNA, GPS, 3.7 inch AMOLED display, 360 by 640, 16 million colors. This thing is brilliant. Uh, we saw it at Mobile World Congress. We'll see it again in a second. 3D gaming, Wi Fi, 8 gigabytes of internal storage plus micro SD. It's a 1500 milliamp battery and Bluetooth. There you go. My work's done. I don't even have to put those subtitles in the video. Here's the phone itself. It's big. Um, it's a big phone. The screen is just crazy. Can we do a little size comparison? Here's a little size comparison for you. Um, this is just the phone I happen to have closest on hand. So, you know, size-wise, a uh, little bit taller, a little bit thinner than an iPhone. A um, little bit thicker than an iPhone, although the iPhone has that deceptive rounded edge that makes it seem thinner than it really is. Take off the back films multiple. Now here for me, who always fails at opening batteries, there's a... Tells me how to do it, but I don't have to open this one. Well, I will to put a SIM in, but not on camera. Here's your 8 megapixel camera with the HD video capture and a flash. Here's the display. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's really nice. It's not beautiful like, you know, a loved one or a gorgeous winter day when the snow is falling. But it is beautiful for a display. It's a touch screen. It's just tremendous. Uh, on top, here's your 3.5 millimeter AV jack, not just headphones, but it also does your uh, audio, your uh, rather AV in and out with that cable we showed you. Here is, oh, whoops, I hit that right. Here's the rocker switch on the side, which I accidentally hit. Uh, here's what looks like a little lanyard port. There's your micro SD card slot. Again, 8 gigs of internal memory on this one. I believe there's a 16 gig version also, and then you can supplement that with the uh, micro SD. On the other side here, you've got a dedicated button probably for the camera, although there's another button down there. Two dedicated buttons. I should really read the manual and tell you what these do, but I haven't yet. And uh, your USB port. And then on the bottom, uh, your microphone port and, you know, this fancy dotted plastic. Uh, let's show you real quick. We will be back with more coverage on this phone for sure. But we'll show you real quick. It's Symbian-based, actually, but with the Samsung TouchWiz over it. And uh, we're going to go into Real Player and show you the video because it's crazy. We'll go Demo Helicopter. I haven't watched this one yet, so I don't know if it's any good. And uh, maybe we'll turn the overhead light off here, too. I mean, seriously, does that show up over the internet video? I think this is the same video we showed at uh, Mobile World Congress. That's insane for a, for a mobile phone, for a mobile device. It really has that 3D effect that you get with HD. And this isn't even a full HD, HD screen in terms of resolution. The display, the phone can do 720p. This screen is not 720p like we showed you on the box. It's uh, 640 wide by 360 tall. But it still just looks insanely good. Go back, let's look at another one of these. We'll look at the uh, i8910 demo. Hey, what's up? That's me. The reflection. Let me get my head out of there. Well, it's going to be pretty glary just because the screen's so glossy and reflective. So now this is turning into an ad for Samsung. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I just want to show you the video. The video quality, the playback quality, is just crazy good on this phone. And just the quality of the display in general. Uh, otherwise, you get your TouchWiz interface. It's a little bit different because it's got the... Uh, 
because it's got that thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to go through and actually test this phone out and figure out what it does. But the TouchWiz is a little bit different because it's the European unlock version and not a U.S. carrier version. So slightly different in terms of what it can do. Uh, and then, like we said, it is actually Symbian-based. And if we go back and we go to Options, Show Open Apps, you can see that's familiar to uh, Symbian S60 users. show you some of the photos. We'll be back with much more coverage on this phone, full testing and all that kind of stuff. But really, just wanted to give you an idea of what this baby can do. It's the Samsung i8910 HD, formerly known as the Omnia HD. Again, this is the unlocked European version. Uh, this phone is not available on a North American carrier, and there are no plans as of yet to have it show up on a North American carrier, but, here's the camera frame, we are hearing that um, the forthcoming Samsung Instinct 2 may actually be called, this is just rumor, but that it may be called the Instinct HD, and it may incorporate some of the technologies found on this phone, including the AMOLE display, whether it's this exact one or a similar one, and also possibly HD video capture and playback, hence the name Omnia H, or, uh, Instinct HD. And that would be pretty cool because uh, this is pretty nice. With much more on the i8910 HD, all the new Samsungs, and all the new phones, check out PhoneDog.com. Until then, I'm Noah. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me and the whole PhoneDog gang on Twitter. And uh, stay tuned because there's a lot of new phone stuff coming up as we head into back-to-school season here in the U.S. and the fall and winter holiday season and all that. We'll have you covered. Don't worry on phone.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.